this is where Silver sought help. The chief medical examiner's office ruled his death accidental and the cause hyperthermia, which means his body temperature was abnormally high. DPW has put a pause on trash and recycling to conduct mandatory heat safety training. I'm knocking on my door, which for me is the most traumatic part. Just because like he used his last strength to ask for help from a stranger. Gabby Avedano says she did everything she could to help DPW worker Ronald Silver, but says initially the way he was acting scared her. And I saw a man just like completely out of it. Um, and I thought maybe he was like off drugs or like how was having like some sort of mental breakdown. And I was here alone with my son, so I closed the door really quick. That's when I heard him say, wait, wait. And I looked out the peephole and he's like literally falling off of my doorsteps. And I realized like this man needs help. This is the towel that I got from inside. Mr. Silver's Gatorade and a towel she used as a pillow for him are still on the ground. She also offered him water. So I'm like calling 911 and he said to just pour the water on him. Um, so I started pouring it on him um, and then 911 wasn't answering and I thought his coworker was on the phone with 911 so I hung up. Gabby says Silver's coworker told her he called a supervisor rather than 911. He asked me to help him sit up and his coworker goes, man, she's half the size of you. She can't lift you up but like didn't offer to help me. Gabby got neighbors to help. She called 911 again. And it said he wasn't breathing and um, the 911 operator instructed me to get him off my stoops and lay him on the, on the pavement um, and that we needed to give him um, chest compressions. She said, give him chest compressions, otherwise he'll die. Silver's death comes just weeks after the Baltimore Office of Inspector General released a report detailing poor working conditions at DPW facilities and trucks. The union representing DPW workers will soon make safety demands to City Hall. Reporting from Northeast Baltimore, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.